today we're talking about this little vlogging setup that I have built for the Sony ZV-1. Stick around. All right, I've been making a lot of YouTube shorts and reels, so I wanted a nine by 16 vertical setup that I could just grab and go, and I think the Sony ZV-1 is actually perfect for it, along with a few accessories. So today I'm gonna switch over to the top view and sort of break down my little vlogging rig. So there's gonna be two parts to the vlogging rig. There's gonna be the handheld vlogging rig, and there's gonna be a monopod style vlogging rig. Let's just start off with the ZV-1 itself. As you can see, it's pretty bare and it's pocketable and it's really cute. And I know it's meant to be a pocketable camera, but obviously I wanna complicate things and make things more complicated. So to me, I think the most important thing for a camera is a cage because I like to mount a lot of things. And right now the ZV-1 only has a hot shoe and also, this is one of the major flaws of the ZV-1, is that the battery opener and the SD card opener is right next to this quarter three, I don't know what size this is. This, that's annoying because these batteries don't last very long and you always have to switch them out. So that's very annoying that I can't open it up without having to take it off my tripod. And the first thing I did was buy this small rig camera cage. So this is our camera cage. It's pretty much just mounted via this little ring and it just tightens up. So you're gonna need an Allen wrench to kind of tighten that up. And that pretty much locks it in place, which is scary, but it works, right? So now I can mount this on a tripod like this and we have battery door access. The problem with this cage is that sometimes it is too tight and I have to actually squeeze it to open the, the door, but whatever, it still works. The next thing we're gonna do is add a NATO rail so I can put a small little top handle. So we're gonna put it on top of this cage. We put the NATO rail right there and so that I can put my top handle. It's also from small rig. If you just go to small rig and type in ZV1 accessories, you'll be you'll be you'll be good. I got the little baby one, probably the smallest size. There's a thinner version of this, but it's on my Sony A7C, kind of half the size of it, and so it's very flush. But this this works for now. This NATO rail allows me to do a few things. It allows me to carry the ZV1 like this. Now I have the sort of the smallest version of the top handle. It's kind of cute. I wish this was black though. They only have gray. So now we have a cute little setup. I can put a monitor on here. I have the Atmos Shinobi. Sorry about the dirty monitor. So there you go. You can have like, it looks kind of ridiculous, but I do use this on my podcast. So I've added also a hot shoe on the top handle. So then we can put another mic on there if we want to. So we've added two hot shoes. Um, let's add a third one, because I end up just using most of my hot shoes. Also, here's a fun one. On the bottom of this cage, there's a hot shoe, which is kind of weird, but I think it's for the vertical stuff, which is kind of random, but it's at the bottom. I guess that works, but I never use that. Okay, let's add another hot shoe right here in this mount. So I don't know what this thing is called. It's just kind of a little hot shoe add-on from Small Rig. I don't know what these are called, but we're gonna put it on the corner of the ZV-1. I never use that button, so I don't, I'm just gonna cover it. Right, that's not on perfectly straight, but so what? So now I have a hot shoe here, hot shoe there, hot shoe in the bottom, a lot of mounting points. Let's take this off, because most of the time I actually don't use the top handle when I don't have the monitor. And now I pretty much still have a compact camera. I can put a microphone on the corner hot shoe it's close by to the ports. The thing I don't like about this hot shoe is it's far away from the ports. Pretty much move this hot shoe so the mic cable is easily accessed to the right side of the camera, which makes sense because the ports are here. So I don't know why they put the hot shoe on the left side, maybe because there's all these buttons there. That was annoying for me, so I like having the hot shoe on the right side. Now the cable isn't like over here which gets annoying that it's crossing over. So that's why I added the hot shoe on the right side. All right, next up are my favorite accessories. They are these Manfrotto quick release plates. They also have them in this little tripod head. It's like a small little ball head. Let me backtrack. This is, a, this is a, the Bluetooth uh, recording handle that comes with it, the creator kit. And I like it, but I don't like having to unscrew it and screw it every time. So I've added a quick release plate 
on top of the, the handle. So we're just gonna mount this quick release plate on there. And now I have pretty much a really easy way to take the camera off because there are a lot of times where I just use this handle as a record trigger when I have the ZV-1 somewhere else. So let's go ahead and put the actual plate from the quick release plate on the side for vertical shooting. We're gonna put it on the right side of the cage, basically just screwing on this little quick release plate on the bottom. So now I can take off this ZV-1 on and off super quick. It's already a hundred times better. And where this comes into play, so basically I put on the quick release tripod head on my, my monopod, and now I also have locked off shots that I can use with a ZV-1, I hope that makes sense. There's our mono setup. So many different options already. We've expanded the use case and usability and modularity of the ZV-1. Pretty much this is it. Like you could just rock it like this. I wanna go a little bit more crazy. I sometimes want to just not hold the ZV-1 and it's my third camera, so I wanna have it on my neck. So what we have here is a peak design strap. On the left side of the ZV-1, there is a another mounting point that we're just gonna screw on this peak design accessory. I don't know what these are called, I'm sorry. I'll link them right here somewhere. So now what that does is it allows us to quickly use this as a strap if I don't wanna carry the ZV-1 in my hand and I have a bunch of gear and I still want it on me. So we've pretty much just upgraded this whole shebang. Still a small form factor, especially if you take out the, the handle. All right, so that's pretty much the handheld setup. And I'll just show you what I use as far as the mono setup. So I have the Sure monopod. You can see the monopod video. I made a video on this um, a few videos back. And what I did was put this Velcro on the monopod and I got one of these like plug-in batteries from Best Buy that has, uh, you know, just built-in cables. And I put Velcro here and basically just, now I have pretty much an extra battery on my monopod. Um, I do get a little paranoid and I, I sometimes put these little whip, whip ties called them whippets last time, but whip ties. And I'll, I'll, you know, sometimes just secure these on here. Now I have a battery bank built into my monopod. If I ever needed to go mono on my ZB, ZV-1, we have battery built in and pretty much just, there we go, we have an easy battery. I can pretty much just go to town with this thing. So that's it. So that is the mono setup for the ZV-1. That's pretty much it. If you found this video useful, make sure to like and subscribe and comment. Thank you so much for everybody who's been engaging in the past videos. I've been doing a lot of shorts lately and tell me if you guys like those or you want me to make more reviews. Also tell me what type of reviews you want and definitely, definitely make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you know when I drop these videos, you'll be notified and you won't miss anything. Thanks guys.